Did you think I was going to care? Inside Out Toronto's LGBT Film Festival kicks off tonight and we just saw a clip of the coming of age film Almost Adults So Sweet. Of course, two of its stars Elise Bauman and Natasha Negovanlis is here this morning with more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. I'm excited for the big debut. Yeah. Yeah. Have I'm you so screened excited. it? We have we seen, have it. seen okay. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so what was your reaction when you first saw it up on the big screen? Oh. It just so much per like being so proud of everyone and being able to watch it with everyone that's collaborated on it and that's really the best part. Yeah, it was really overwhelming and we got to see it with, with the cast and crew as well so it was just a really oh, nice, nice sort of family vibe. Yeah, a nice good wrap up to, yeah. to the production, right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the story and the relationship between the two characters. Yeah, well it's, it's very much a platonic love story between yeah. two best friends as they sort of go through their own unique coming of age journeys. And um, yeah, it's very much, it, and it's sort of a, a breakup story as well, and how sometimes... Not just a breakup between the heterosexual pair, like you and your boyfriend, your character's no, boyfriend. No, but between but friend before the friend, the friend, the friend breakup, breakup, which is terrible. More it challenges. Really yeah. 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 I mean, because we, we can all relate to something like that, right? Absolutely. At least getting to a point with your best friend where you have to have a conversation. Yeah. Of, about especially, whether or not you're going to move forward together yeah. or not. Yeah. Especially when so many things are changing and shifting in your life and and your your lives are starting to go mm -hmm. in different paths and then it, it's hard. You want to like keep a hold of, of what things used to be yeah, instead that's of right. like, growing with the friendship. And your character Mac is actually experiencing her own journey in terms of you know, finally coming out to her parents, yeah. and, mm -hmm. which I love they have an amazing, <laughs> they have an amazing reaction to you, by the way, yeah. to that. <laughs> yeah. um, now we've seen some films, you know, coming out of the LGBT film mm -hmm. festival, but what sets this one apart from the other stories? I think this one focuses more on um, the friendship between Cassie and Mackenzie, mm -hmm. um, the platonic relationship that they have, and and what it's like to not even just come out but just reveal who you really are as a person to a friend mm -hmm. um, which is a scary thing to do sometimes and then and the repercussions of that and, and how you can uh, grow together with a friend um, despite differences and despite um, uh, yeah, despite yeah. Uh, like things going in a different yeah. direction of your relationship. That's right. And I think what's really interesting about our film too is that the, the crew was about 90% women which oh, is quite amazing. unique because the film industry is, is not equal yet. So so that's a nice Amen. little tidbit I hear that. about it. And yeah. so what, what did that environment, what was that like to be a part of? It was wonderful. It was awesome. Yeah, I think so many people, you know, they have this this idea that like, oh, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of women. Is it going to be really catty? <laughs> no, we were be we were best friends. Everyone we all became was, like so supportive of each other, yeah. and we had a blast filming it. That's awesome, and I love that it was actually um, this made was uh, this film was made possible by the Kickstarter campaign. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that unique aspect to it. Well, I think the internet in general, I mean, it was written and directed by, by Sarah and Adriana, who run the Gay Women's Channel on YouTube. And I think that's just so, uh, it, it's so reflective of, of the way the industry is moving. Digital media is very much the future of film and television. So, yeah. And you, what, raised $122,000? We did, yeah. Up top. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Don't leave me hanging, girl. What are you doing? Girlfriend. Yeah. Well, we're just, we're so, so lucky that yeah. we have a really yeah. supportive fan base and, and we wouldn't be where we are without them. That's right. And it means you have more con creative control, too. It means that you mm -hmm. get to make the content that you want to make. Mm -hmm. We've got to do more of that, right? Yes. Yeah. Next time we'll see you guys create more of what we can see. I hope so. That's awesome. Congratulations on the film. If you guys want to see it, um, Almost Adult screens Saturday at 7 p.m. at the TIFF Lightbox and Inside Out LGBT Film Festival runs tonight until June 5th. Head on over to breakfasttelevision.ca for ticket info. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks so much, ladies.